Hello everyone! Welcome na naman tayo dito sa ating munting kusina. Welcome here at La Arne's Kitchen and Food Creations. Well, please come join with me here tonight as I'm going to share with you a very easy type of cooking. So this will serve as our supper tonight. So I'm going to fry milk, fish, or bangos. And my frying ingredient is I'm using canola oil. So we will preheat our uh, frying pan or wok and so I prepared here my uh, plate lined with paper towel and this is my frying, um, frying gadget which is my tongs or ipit. <laughs> the fish that I'm going to use or we will eat this um, later <laughs> is bangus bangus is milk fish and so this is marinated already i bought this frozen from a, one package and there are three bangus or three milk fish um, in one package so this is ready for frying where can you buy this one from any of your favorite asian stores or filipino stores or uh, from Walmart, Superstore, or some. But remember, friends, not all of the grocery stores are having this kind of item. But when you go to the Asian market or even the Palenque, then you can always access uh, this type of fish. So this is marinated. It's savorful already. And there's suka or coconut. They marinated that with coconut vinegar, salt, and black pepper, and some other spices. So friends, while we are preheating our oil, so I'll show you something. So the bangus or milk fish, fried milk fish, this will be paired with salad. <laughs> so I have here, I prepared uh, thinly sliced of carrots and then uh, mini English seedless cucumbers. There you go. And some white onions and tomatoes. So that will be for our salad tonight that will be paired with our fish and our rice and also with our dessert which is our sweet mangoes okay now for um for the savoring enhancer or in order that the salad will be finished <laughs> i'm going to add three tablespoons of brown sugar then some salt adding salt and some pepper or your um your savoring enhancer we're going to add salt okay there you go so adding salt it depends upon your taste buds i added brown sugar because it will help neutralize the taste between saltiness and sweetness now i have here apple cider vinegar which is organic but that can be optional you don't need apple cider if you don't have you can use coconut vinegar or lemon or lemoncito calamunding or rice vinegar or balsamic vinegar so i'm just eyeballing it so probably okay one fourth cup and then we are just going to mix this until all is well combined. So I'll go first to my fish <laughs> because that can be hot already. I think this is ready to go for frying. So let's see. Let's see. I might, um, it might fit to bangus or fish here. There you go. Set that aside until that will become um, crispy and golden brown. So friends, we'll continue on uh, mixing this one. Well, if you don't have kamatis, 
or tomatoes, you just use sibuyas or onions. Well, to the point you don't have, you run out of onions, just use uh, carrots or cucumbers. <laughs> So before you eat, maybe five minutes before your supper time, because this will serve as our supper tonight. So that's the time, five minutes before you eat, that's the time you're going to mix your salad so that it retains the freshness and the crunchiness. Because once you will, you will mix together, especially the suka or the vinegar, there's acidity. Uh, it will become soggy. <laughs> okay, there you go. So this is good to go. And after which, for our dessert tonight, since I have lots of sweet mangoes, they're very ready to be eaten. So I use three mangoes, and these are the panit or the balat or the peelings of the mangoes I'm going to add uh, this one so I use three large mangoes and I slice that into cubes so friends you have the option you can use your blender so you can make a mango smoothie so what I'm going to do is I will just add some fresh milk and then I have here ice cubes so the ice cubes can be very, very optional. <laughs> if you think your milk is um, cold already, you don't really need uh, to add ice cubes. But I added ice cubes to make it more beautiful when I'm going to show, show it to you. <laughs> so I'm taking videos for sharing purposes and uh, for my collections. I do like to have that one. So this is our mango salad. You can use strawberries, bananas, and some other fruits of your choice. Okay. There you go. So this is quite done. And we have one last milkfish here that we're going to fry after this two crunchy golden brown delicious bangus or milkfish wonderful friends here at the Arnie's kitchen and food creations simply love to share what's going on from my day-to-day -day experience here at my little cucina or my little kitchen in the prairie because I live in the prairies of Saskatchewan <laughs> so my simple goal in my kitchen is simply for fun sharing and learning thus it gives you the ideas on what to prepare for your family's next meal so this is quite done So every time I fry, I try to use or line this one with paper towel uh, for the excess oil to be taken out. Okay, there you go, wonderful friends. It's quite done. So this is the finished product or the output of our fried marinated milk fish or bangus. So make sure that my rice is ready. There you go. Set that aside so I'll have to call my husband so that we can have supper now. So once again, thank you very much for watching La Arnie's Kitchen of Recreations. This is our sweet mango salad with milk. And then we have here our, uh, we have here our cucumber and tomato carrot salad. And this is our fish. <laughs> And so our rice, I'm go going to 
uh, plating or rice uh, once Ulysses, my husband, um, comes. So actually, my husband is doing some yard work at the back. <laughs> so I'm going to call him now for supper. Once again, maraming salamat po. Daghan kaing salamat, mga friends. Uh, sa inyong pag-uban diri sa akong gamayin kusina habang ako po ay nagluto-luto. Hanggang sa muling pagkikita-kita natin dito sa munting kusina. Till the next time, maraming salamat and I hope nagustuhan niyo ang simple na uh, videos natin ngayong uh, araw na ito. Bye for now. Ingat po kayo. God bless.